to observe and compare the pressure exerted by a solid iron cuboid on sand while resting on its three different phases and to calculate the pressure exerted in the three different cases when a force acts perpendicularly or normally to a surface it is called thrust the thrust acting normally to the unit area of a surface is called pressure if p is pressure then p is equal to f upon a where f is force and a is area of cross section ma'am how can we compare and calculate the pressure exerted by a solid iron cuboid on sand while resting on its three different faces and the pressure exerted in the three different cases when a body is placed on any surface its weight acts in downward direction and this weight is equal to the amount of force applied by that body that is f is equal to m into g or force is equal to weight pressure is directly proportional to force and inversely proportional to the area p is equal to f upon a let's do an experiment to observe and compare the pressure exerted by a solid iron cuboid on sand while resting on its three different phases and to calculate the pressure exerted in the three different cases our aim here is to observe and compare the pressure exerted by a solid iron cuboid on sand while resting on its three different phases and to calculate the pressure exerted in the three different cases the materials required are spring balance iron cuboid tray to hold sand loose sand scale procedure find the range and least count of the measuring scale and spring balance find the length breadth and height of the cuboid using the scale note down the weight of the cuboid from spring balance fill the tray with loose sand on it and level the top surface place the cuboid gently on the sand in such a way that the face a is in contact with the sand remove the cuboid and measure the depression produced in the sand repeat the steps 5 and 6 with the faces b and c respectively calculate the pressure exerted by each face observations range of the measuring scale is equal to x gram weight least count of the measuring scale is equal to x gram weight range of the spring balance is equal to x gram weight least count of the spring balance is equal to x gram weight length of the cuboid l is equal to 10 cm is equal to 0.1 meter breadth of the cuboid b is equal to 5 cm is equal to 0.05 meter height of the cuboid h is equal to 4 cm is equal to 0.04 meter mass of the cuboid m is equal to x gram is equal to x kilogram acceleration due to gravity g is equal to x meter per second square weight of the cuboid mg is equal to x newton force exerted by the cuboid when placed on a sand bed in a tray f is equal to mg is equal to x calculation of surface area and pressure on the surfaces face on the sand bed area of face pressure p is equal to f by a depression in sand d centimeter 1 a is equal to l into b centimeter square 2 b is equal to l into h centimeter square c is equal to b into h centimeter square result 
the maximum pressure exerted by face x with area x the minimum pressure exerted by face x with area x it is clear that lesser the area of the solid greater the depression formed in the sand that is p is proportional to 1 by a hence the same force can produce different pressures depending on the area over which it acts precautions the zero error of the spring balance should be considered the scale used to measure the dimension of cuboid should be perfect and least count should be taken carefully the sand should be loose and perfectly leveled for every reading the cuboid should be gently placed on the sand bed one should not press the block while placing as it is expected to cause more depression in sand scale should be held vertically while measuring thank you ma'am we have understood the experiment very well